Hello my soccer universe, yes, Jersey review season has begun for me and we're gonna start in the Austrian Bundesliga since it's the first league that has started and where I have already the best feeling of how the jerseys not only look on the uh, pictures but also in game. How I'm gonna do this review, we're starting in Austria, we have 12 teams, I decided this time around not to make it in 4 videos but in 3 videos uh, with 4 teams each. And uh, we're gonna do it as usual. I take the pictures from footy headlines or from wherever I can match, sc uh, match screenshots and whatever. Um, then I take the 12 teams. I'll take last season's final standings, go one, two, three, three, two, one, and so on, as you see on the screen. And then all the teams with their respective numbers land in their respective video. And in this video, we are having the teams. We're starting on top with Salzburg, then we have uh, Klagenfurt, we have Tirol, and we have Lustena. However, I start in alphabetic order and we'll start with Austria Klagenfurt, who are supplied by Capelli, the only Austrian team supplied by Capelli and not too many. And with after the pinstripes from last season, this season we have a, actually quite a pleasing effort in purple with some golden accents and even some shape with some purple throwing, uh, you know, deep, <laughs> deep purple, <laughs> some, you know, uh, you know, pinkish purplish tone uh, thrown in there. I have to say together with the beer sponsor on the sleeves and the main sponsor, which I honestly don't, don't, don't know what, what it is. It looks really, really pleasing. Yes, in game there are a few more small sponsor patches added around the neckline, but uh, they're all not so intrusive. I gotta say, this is one of the more interesting and better looking jerseys, and one where actually the sponsor is not a hinderment there. We will see in Austrian league play, uh, there will be a ton of sponsors, and I will make you aware of all of this. But I gotta say, this is a really nice effort. I'm actually willing to give this a 9 star. I really like, like this one. It's uh, purple, but it's a, a slightly different uh, a look to it. Uh, gotta say the away jersey, yes, there's still the pins right, but uh, it just leaves me wanting a little bit. Yes, the beer sponsor keeps the purple in a way there, but gotta say uh, it's a little bit uh, blah. I think that's the best way to describe it, and I think I, I won't want to give it more than a 5 stars. Which then leads us to the newly promoted team Austria Lustenau. And first things first, Lustenau. There are many teams that are called Austria, oh Austria, but Austria in uh, Austria, and most of them are purple. We had Austria Klagenfurt, we have of course Austria Vienna, the former Austria Salzburg. They all have purple. Why is Austria Lusana green and white, which is the color, of course, of Austria Vienna's rivals, Rapid Vienna? That is one of the mysteries that still have to go. However, this year, Austria Lusana is not offering a striped jersey. Um, they are supplied by Ulsport, who actually, and I have to say, Austria Lusana, as of late, very often had only a green home jersey. And I gotta say, it is an interesting effort. I'm not sure about the sleeve cuffs and you know this uh, paintbrush effect uh, going on, to, on on the sleeve cuffs, but I have, have to say the spec pattern on the front is rather interesting. And what's even more interesting is that even in league play, there, there's not a big fat sponsor on there. So uh, this actually looks uh, pretty much like the real uh, deal. I think it's interesting to look at. However, it's not a jersey that super excites me. Uh, but you know. Uh, it's it's a little bit hard for me, uh, I, but I think my first gut feeling is six, and I think I'm gonna stay with it. I find the away jersey uh, a lot more classy. It is, you know, I mean, uh, pinstriping always will look good, uh, but I think with the white base and you have the green cuffs and you have the green pinstripes, uh, that is actually a really nice looking jersey. I gotta say, and I actually wanna ele and also the way it is done that you know uh, within the pinstripes you can get the crest, you can get the league logo, which. I wish that Austria, the Austrian league, would uh, go like with uh, other leagues that the league logo is on the uh, sleeves and not on the right side because it's very often uh, not here. Here it's really done well, but we will see even uh, to, the, uh, to today it very often is then an afterthought because the supplier logo goes first and then the league logo is uh, pushed up. This one really look, looks nice, I gotta say. I even find every, every everything about it is pleasing. I, I would give this uh, an 8 star. And 
Lustner also has already used a third jersey this season when they go away to Rapid Vienna because they cannot wear any of the other jerseys there. And they went for an all black number and here you also see a little bit more of the sponsors that are happening. As I said, I don't think they are really intrusive to the overall design. Um, as for the black jersey, I wish there was not a size there. If you go all black on that, I think this would look really, really, really cool. In that sense, it's just your average jersey. Uh, and for average, I have one grade and that's five. There is not much uh, going uh, on with that. Okay. Next one up, of course, the defending champions, Red Bull Salzburg, the, uh, the, the team that everyone in Austria loves to hate, unless you're a Salzburg fan. Uh, and I always say I'm very much split with them because they do well. The Austrian coefficient rating is really well, thanks to them. But on the other side, I also think that uh, the Austrian national team is better because of, of them. But uh, I'm still a little, a little bit sour how they took away Austria Salzburg and just stamped Red Bull all over. Rant aside, we look at the latest offering. They're going back. They had last season a red jersey with kind of um, thin white pinstripes. Now they go back to uh, a white home jersey, which is classic Red Bull look. I mean, if you look at it in play, uh, it's nothing special. However, if you look at here up close, there are those V shapes in there. The one thing that I don't get at Red Bull Salzburg and even Red Bull Leipzig, they even though they are, um, they would have the money, they just don't get great jerseys most of the time. This one, I think the V really elevates the design overall. Uh, the downside is if you see it in league play that above the swoosh, there's the league logo and I really don't get it. Why cannot either the swoosh go central or the league logo go, cent go central? Because at least for the Red Bulls jersey, there is not much else there. There's a little uh, sleeve sponsor. That's it. it. They keep it rather clean. But overall, um, yes, I said that we elevated a little bit, but not more than six stars. So we're going to stay there. And they go even with a template for the away jersey. Now, I really like the navy with the Red Bull. I think that looks nice, but um, I don't think the sleeves fit very well. Uh, they have been most of the time going for a navy with a little bit of a yellow. Uh, but here's navy with the light blue. Um, I guess it wants to be a France jersey. Uh, from 2018 but uh, it just doesn't do it for me uh, it just looks cheap and uh, this is a template that has been intriguing to me that I re really would have liked in person to see in the player version um, but there's it just something doesn't look right because you know the blue is not matched anywhere and then the side strapping is odd so yeah I, I also gotta go put this down as uh, just your average uh, jersey uh, Red Bull Salzburg not really well known for their great looking jerseys uh, a much much more interesting proposition is what's coming from uh, Wattens or what how is it how they call now WSG Tirol in German so um, <laughs> WSG Tirol in, <laughs> in English I gotta say, I mean, uh, there are only two Puma teams in the league. There are many Nike teams. Uh, but I have to say, despite this being probably a template, this looks really, really interesting and nice. So far, Tirol or Wattens, let's call them Wattens, uh, have been really just been served a very average template where the outstanding feature were the shiny sparkling numbers on the back. We still have those numbers. Uh, I think on this one they are green and on the next one they are silver uh, because you know Swarovski is still kind of in there. Uh, the sponsors also fit the color scheme with a little bit red thrown in for good measure but overall I really have to have to say I like the white base and I like these green weird shapes as um, the bands on the front. This is very, very interesting to look at and I think very pleasing to see. I'm willing to give this a seven star. I have to say that the uh, waiters in black is not only smart because it does something different, although I would have wished that they just switch black for green. So it's not black and white. Um, one sense it looks stronger on the other sense you lose one of your main clubs colors in green that only come in through the main sponsor so maybe that's a downside so as i said maybe uh take the, uh takes it out at our notch i i really think that uh making this in black and green could have worked even better uh but you know my that's my opinion of course sparkling numbers are always there so that's always nice to see um 
I'm gonna go down. This, uh, upon reflection, actually looks a little bit more average, and uh, it's gonna be only a five star jersey. I'm sorry to say. But yeah, we're done with the first batch. Uh, please let me know which jerseys in here did you like. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.